Yeah, I think I went a little overboard today. My grand total was around $21. But I got a lot of stuff. There's a real tree, camo, medium shirt. There's an Orioles shirt. It, starter. Looks like it's real good condition. They're both probably around 10, 15 each. Got this Bass Pro Shops backpack. This is real nice. I'm thinking it's at least 15, 20 bucks, if not more. And I paid a dollar fifty, I think. Something like that. Got this brand new. Real nice, uh, turn this light off. I got this real nice laptop bag, brand new. Not totally sure what I paid for it. I think it's a oh, dollar and a quarter. It's probably another 15, 20 bucks. These are around 10, 15 dollars. It's just a router, it's 50 cents. So I'm already in a profit just from a couple things. These are around $15. Brand new sealed. Holds your uh, slides. This they asked if they could borrow because their kids had a obsolete obsolete media or some some weird or obsolete ops organization and they she took that kid took that in the class got a bunch of beanie babies they're all like pretty good with the tags there's a witch witch bear That's a vintage tie. And got all these uh my little pony ripoffs. I'll probably put them in as a set. Only one of them has the tags. My little wish. Just got a couple of these things here. You like put them on your, your stereo clip or put it in your jack. I don't know. And I got a ton of these beer koozies. Like I'm gonna put I'm gonna put all the um, Ravens ones together. And then support the troops. Samuel Adams. Dale Jr., Samuel Adams, Samuel Adams. Cool story, bro. Now give me a beer. 100% cat love face. Those were like 13 cents each. These are a dollar each. Golf tees. They sell around seven, eight dollars. Other original tie collectible. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't look them up. You know that stuff's so cheap, and it's gonna sit for a while. I got printer ink. I'm not sure what it's for. It almost looks like it fit in my uh, what I have. But there's a quarter for all that. It's probably twenty dollars in ink. Ortiz. And I got another one of these. This one actually has the holder though. It's a dollar. Look on sign language was 50 cents. Take it five bucks at least. Then I got these uh hard toe fancy uh, cowboy cowgirl boots. And it was two dollars and a quarter. They sell for almost forty dollars. 
there's a little wear to it but I still think 25 30 bucks most likely and these are all original puzzles from the 80s I didn't see what's all behind them there's Lion King there's one behind that Donald Duck one behind that I think they're five bucks each at least there's some Avon and Myri clone and there's comps for about ten fifteen dollars so that's pretty good for 50 cents all in all it's a pretty good day I volunteer for like an hour or two on a bunch of stuff and it wasn't even like a great day like there wasn't even a lot of good real great stuff a lot of a lot of smalls and that stuff definitely adds up oh yeah got another blanket going out yeah, just sold a book bear cubs and it went for fifteen dollars they sent an offer and I accepted and shipping on top. Oh yeah. Easiest and lightest way I've found to ship blankets. I got two giant poly mailers and I put them inside each other and then just tape around here. Make sure everything's airtight. So I'm waterproof. Good to go, yo yo. Good for books. It's my third one today shipping out. Listen to Van Morrison. That's like a CD put on by accident. Kinda sucks. Went out, $21 plus shipping. And they're worth a good bit more than that actually. I got them for a dollar each. Oh, yeah. So I'm shipping it. Just as folded over. It's gonna get tied. The box is already have damage. They just want, you know, what's in there. But just keep it safe. I'm gonna tie down the sides. Let's get the ship. Two poly bag handlers. Yeah. We are at the busted down flea market. Oh yeah. The go drill. Went out again to the lovely place called Cumberland Mountain. Got some more stuff. Not, not a whole lot of home runs. I got this for two dollars. It's actually a pretty nice tape gun. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it's better than what I've been using. I got these ASICs. They're um, half off. So they're four fifty. Actually, pretty nice. I'm wearing now. This is probably the best thing I got. It's between fifteen twenty dollars. Sony uh, it costs five, but it has everything with it. It even has the original headphones with it. I didn't even see that. That's cool. It's got the car jack, all that stuff. So that's it. Looks pretty much brand new. So yeah, that's that's probably twenty bucks. That'll probably go pretty quick, actually. I got all of these because they marked them down. I actually bought a case of them before for four dollars, and I shipped them to Amazon. These are a little different, which I didn't notice. They're um, they're fifty cents each, but uh, yeah, like they're trying to say they're like three or four dollars, and. Which I didn't know that's what I've been selling them for. So I've been making like a dollar fifty or something each off of them. Which aren't great. I mean that's probably I'll probably make a dollar, two dollars each of them. I bought ten of them, but yeah, it's really not worth it almost. I still gotta ship it out to them. I think I'm just gonna put them all on eBay. I got the far side gallery. I thought this would be worth more, it's only worth a couple dollars. It's kind of a bust. I mean, I had to go out there anyway. I had to, um... That, this is a flea market in Ellerslie. Which I took a little video of. <laughs> These... 
I didn't really need them, but they're 50 cents each. And they're the DVD mailers. I use them a lot. So uh, for two bucks, 12 mailers. It's a pretty good deal because they're usually like it could be a uh, dollar each or two for a dollar. I got some more CDs at the at the um, pawn shop. Cow, cowboys from hell, Pantera baby. Him, Muse, more him, and Journey's greatest hits. Also went to both game stores in the Vale and Cumberland. I got two copies of this because just because I sold it so quick. A dollar each. Rad Racer 2, which I think I'm a lot. There's my cat. I'm gonna lot um the other one with the first Rad Racer with Karate Champ. Fabio! Look at Fabio. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors. The prices out there for the NES are like way cheaper. It's weird. In Cumberland, I mean. Top Gun 1 and 2. They're going together. Road Blasters. And I also got myself a. Well, I'm going to sell it. I doubt it's worth a whole lot. It's just the AC adapter. It's a Toshiba, but the tip is like one that a lot of laptops take. The bigger one. Well, that's like an average. Got some acrylic paint. I'm probably gonna keep that actually. So I, I do paint. That and this is a book on the Knights Templar, which I didn't look up. It is in very good condition. I might ship it to Amazon if it's worth anything. Yeah. Eh, not great. I've had better days. I have a ton of stuff to list though. <laughs> Going out. Some Dita shoes. Paid a dollar for. Actually, wanted to keep them for myself, but they're a little tight on my foot. Yeah. Then you just go in, in that and just tape it up good, and I've never had any issues. I'll use a poly bag if I had one, but I just got two shopping bags. Why oh, it looks green on my camera? It's a Dollar General bag. Let's go on this. Gonna get on the bus. Get it on what? Uh, uh. Actually, fit. Oh man, yeah, yeah. And these mailers are—they're free at the post office. Good for shipping shoes. A lot of books going out. There's answers from the grander self. Sold for $6.45 plus shipping. Journey of Self Discovery, $3.18. $2.75, the direct path. Descent to the mine. There's $4.24 and $2.20 for Seat of the Soul. And I, I I didn't pay more than a dollar for any of these books. And this, I paid, I think it was a quarter. And it sold for $8.45 plus shipping. I got a couple things today. I got these, they're pretty clean. I, I hope, there's only like a couple little spots on these. New Balance size 12 men's. They're pretty nice. They were a dollar and a quarter. And this I got from Amazon. 25 6 by 9 DVD mailer. Yeah, they're. I just went through one of like a pack of these real quick, but there's, they're only eight bucks on Amazon. It's a good deal. The best I could find, really. For 25. Oh man, Pikachu sold for seven dollars plus nine ninety shipping. They sent me an offer. I'm like, whatever. Pikachu sold for six thirty. 
and I actually gave them the nicer copy because they didn't lowball me, they just bought it. My other copy is not as nice as this, but it's the one that I took pictures of. This clone sold for uh, $11.40 for shipping. I'm pretty sure I paid a quarter for it, 50 cents, something like that. Yeah, old. These are good if you find them. A Mari. It's like double wrap to bubble wrap. Go in the mailer. Shipping out. Oh, 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 yeah. This discman is like almost brand new. And it's trending around 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. Old Mo wrestling shirts. New Japan wrestling. Oh yeah. The King of Sports. They sold for 1060. Which these were just my personal shirts, that's why I don't really care. I paid more than that. I just I don't wear them anymore. Like eighteen dollars all in. We got all these shirts in here. Going in poly bag, with tape on it, and I'll bust out my tie dye mailer. Thanks for your order. That's a good one. Got it for a dollar, and it's trending around twenty-five, which I usually take less than what it's worth. Honestly, a lot of times. Yeah. Shut the lens. Going out, we got my second tree bark shirt. They're both 50 cents each. And this was sold for like $10. The last one was around 12. It's not bad. So I got my folding down. I could work in a fancy clothing store. Look at that. So poly bag, poly mailer. They don't take a tape up the very top. Make sure the seal gets make sure it's wide and tight. You know? Oh yeah. Sticker it, throw it out. I worked today, so I didn't source a whole lot. I actually got this after work, which I only work like three days a week, so the rest I work for myself. It's the asparagus, and the veggie tails. This guy's just new. He only has an eight, six dollar tag from Kohl's, so whatever. Man, I went out to Oakland, Maryland, and I got a ton of stuff. I got all these games, a lot of Xbox One, PS4 games, these Minecrafts, it's $10, $15. They'll be gone in a day or two. Most of these games will be gone pretty quick. And they were all $2 each, so I spent around $40. how much that one's worth. I heard the first one isn't worth all that much. I have a feeling this worms collection will be worth a few bucks. The Surge. Hip Hop Abs. I just sold one of these for like ten dollars and just got another one for a dollar. This DualShock 2 controller. It was a dollar. They go for around ten. It's easy ten bucks. Biggie. This is 50 cents. These all these CDs were 50 cents, I think. Beatles. Corn. I hardly ever find like good rock CDs. And this is sealed. Brand new. Nirvana. Switch.
much, but this, I'm not sure what it is. It just says instant read. But and then the back isn't there, but it's got rechargeable batteries. So that's why I picked that up. All these Bob Dylan tapes. I think they're 50 cents each. That or a quarter, something like that. Um, I'll put all, them on a lot. This, they had the right marker on stuff. So I'll, I'll have to just sell without the box, probably. I sell around 10 bucks. This thing, you, uh, you watch TV on your laptop. It actually has a cable output. It's kind of weird. I sell for around 10 bucks. This too is around 10 bucks. And there's a couple Bibles for free. And this thing's a smart label printer. Sure. It was a dollar. I got I actually ordered this. It's a USB so I can charge the drain, test it out. These drains are worth about $30, $40, but I couldn't charge it because I was missing. That was only a couple bucks. And I stopped at the library on my way back and I got these couple DVDs. And I got 15 copies of the same book. I left a couple there. They're all in the free pile. And someone just dropped off a bunch, donated a bunch of the same book. And I guess they kept one and they were like, that's all we need. So these are all going to Amazon. They sell for around 10 bucks each. And my profit will be around five bucks each one, each one of these. So five times 15, it's a good bit. So it's like $200 profit, maybe. <laughs> oh man, good deal. Oh yeah, I got the battery charged. This thing works pretty good. You can even get in the box. <laughs> it's freaking her out. I keep turning off the remote by accident. What is that thing? Huh? Uh, I'm gonna turn it off. It's coming for you! Oh no! Oh no! Wow. I can't drive very good. <laughs>